Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss something about workflow. All right. So without wasting time, let's get started. So we have this. I'm I'm cr creating a new workflow here. I came to the SWDD transaction. Okay, if you don't remember the transaction code, it's SWDD for workflow builder. So you get this screen here. You can see the screen and uh, what I do is I'm going to explain to you about this particular step called the condition step for today. For today's session, I'm going to discuss about this condition step. All right. So what I do is I'm going to actually create this condition step here. I'll, I'll double click on this and I'll click on this condition step. All right. I'll give the condition step name as condition one or something. And then um, I'll try to, uh, no, we cannot save this because I have to provide a condition. So this is the place where we have to uh, provide a condition. So this condition is basically based on an expression. All right. So the ex for the expression for the time being, I'll create a workflow container element. Okay. I go to the workflow container here and then I double click to create a container element. So I'll give the container element name as uh, name. I'll give it as name here, name. And in the ABAP dictionary type, you can, uh, I'll just choose as character for the time being, I'll just choose this. And then in the properties, this is an important thing because I have to pass value to this workflow container. So for that, I'll give this as importing. This element is importing. Why? Because I'm going to pass a value to this workflow container, right? And then I click on the tick mark and you can see here that the name is getting added up, right? So now you can go to the condition step, which we have it already in place. I'll click on here and then in the expression, I come here to, I have to choose an expression. So I'm going to choose an expression from my workflow container. All right. So I'll, I'll go to the workflow container. I'll choose name as the expression. Double click this so you can see the expression got added, added up. And then here I have to specify an operator. Okay. So you have certain operators here. You can see. Uh, uh, the operators are there, the logic is there. For the time being, in today's session, I'm going to select this equals operator. Okay, so now you can see equal to, and then in the expression two, there is expression one and then the expression two. So it's like I'm going to equate name to a certain value. For that, I'm going to give a constant. I'll say Suraj. Okay, I'm saying if this name is Suraj, if the name is Suraj, I'm going to say it is true. Okay. If it's the name is not Suraj, it will go to the false branch. You can see it in a while. I'll click on the transfer to graphic this button here. All right. So you can see here. So this means if the name is Suraj, I'm going to go to this branch, the true branch. If the name is not Suraj, it will go to the false branch. As simple as that. It is like if else condition in normal ABAP. Okay. In normal ABAP, we have if else condition, right? So if name equal to Suraj, okay, it goes to the true branch. If the name is not equal to Suraj, it goes to the false branch. So here you can define any step you want. Okay. So for now, when once it comes to the true branch, I will actually create a mail step, send mail step just to see how it works. Okay. So that I can just, I just, just wanted to show you how this is working. So you can add the step here inside this branch. You can just create a new step called the send mail step. All right. So in the st send mail step in the expression, I'm saying it is going to the, the mail has to go to the workflow initiator. So that is me. I am going to initiate this workflow, right? Because I don't have any program or anything as such. I am going to initiate it now. So I'm the workflow initiator. So I'm going to give a subject, something like, name is Suraj. Okay. And then here I'll say, hi, hi, name is Suraj. All right. Regards workflow. All right. So I'll click on this tick mark here and I will say, I'll give a uh, name for this a task. I have to give a name for this task. I'll say con one C O N D one. Okay. Okay, so here you can see once it is in the true branch, so it means if the name is Suraj, take this branch, take the true branch and then execute this 
send mail step so i'm going to receive this mail if it is not if it is not the case if the name is not suraj go to this branch and then complete the workflow otherwise you have to take this path all right if the name is suraj you have to take this path you have to have an extra step of sending the mail okay so this is you can imagine your own scenario and you can practice it like this any any kind of situation which you can even uh, think of right so what i'll do is i'll try to save this workflow now you have to save a, this workflow right so i'll say it's like um, a1 something zwf underscore a1 okay i'm just for david is a local object and then what i'll do is i'll try to execute this workflow i am the in initiator remember that i am the initiator so here i'll provide some value here as uh, maybe james i'll give the name as james and then i try to execute this so okay i i've not activated the workflow so i have to come back and activate this all right if i miss that step so i've executed uh, activated this now i'll test this all right so double click on name and then provide a name as james or something like that any name what you would like to give and now you can see current status is completed of this work work item okay a work item was created and then it's completed also so if i go to the workflow log and if i go to the graphical workflow log i just want to show you the path it is taking okay so if name is suraj no it is not suraj it is james so it doesn't take this path of the true path it takes the false path and then it is going to complete the workflow right if it's true it takes this path if it's false it takes the other path so now i'll say uh, uh, i'll tell you the positive test case i'll say suraj okay so this is a positive test case and i'll execute this you can see here the current status is in process it's not completed because there is one step which is there in between which is the send mail step so if i go to the workflow log um and if i check the the uh, workflow log i can see that this this is got into this this is taken this path all right it is going through the send mail path and then it is going to complete the workflow all right now if i go to the workflow log you can see it is completed the mail was sent it takes some time to send the mail so you can also see this in the uh, business uh, workplace i'm the initiator so i it basically comes to me so if i go to the document section here is the place where i can see the name is suraj this mail got triggered to me because the condition was met right so this is basically about the condition step so if you want to practice you can practice it like giving some you can add some um, workflow container element you can choose of your choice you can create some couple of conditions and you can just check it like a couple of uh, workflow container elements and then you can check it and you can practice uh, the way you want actually so this is a, like a simple uh, way which i have shown you like just to make you understand what's uh, happening here in the condition step so Yeah so that's it for this video and I'll be coming up with more uh, workflow videos so stay tuned and do not forget to smash the subscribe button and please do like and comment uh, on on the video and yeah so that's it have a nice day